Hey, this is Bill coming to you from Tactical Hive. I got a quick tip for you. Uh, how many people tend to shoot low and to the left? It's probably one of our most common problems. Uh, we see a lot of ways to diagnose that. One of the methods you may not have used before, you may want to take a look at, is how you're pressing the trigger. When you press that trigger back, take out the slack and press, is this distal joint, that first distal joint, staying straight and not hooking or your wrist or your finger are hooking like this. A lot of times we lock in our grip, grip's locked in on the gun, and I get on that trigger and I press, and as I'm moving, I move that distal joint like this, or hook to the left, causes the gun to push just a little bit to the left. A couple ways to correct that, try to make sure that that finger is pressing straight back, straight back, not hooking, and then use your support hand, your left hand, to lock in that grip and press in on the left side of the gun. Hey, this is Bill coming to you from Tactical Hive with your quick tip. Uh, basically, for concealed carry, a lot of folks carry one gun and no spare magazine, no extra rounds. I know it's rare and very uncommon to have to do a reload, but some of the issues that can come up when we're drawing a gun, coming up on target, if I bump that magazine release and launch that magazine, if I don't have a spare magazine, I got to go for that one. Here I've got just a magazine in my pocket, I can load, make ready, and I'm back on target uh, immediately. Again, not your most common problem, but something you should train for and practice for. I'd rather have a spare magazine and not need it than not have a spare magazine and be digging for that one or trying to find it somewhere scrambling on the ground. So get yourself a spare magazine or two and carry a spare mag with you. Hey, this is Bill coming to you from the Tactical Hive. Quick tip for the day, uh, concealment check. Before you go out for the day, double check that you've got good coverage of your concealment gun. Wherever you're carrying, if I'm carrying front waistband, I might draw and point in on my target, finger straight, and then reholster, just make sure that your gun's concealed. If I'm on the side here, I wanna make sure that gun's fully concealed, so I'm not printing, the gun's not showing through my clothing. If I'm on the back waistband here, same thing. I wanna make sure that gun's concealed, I'm not showing any obvious signs of a concealed firearm. That's a quick tip for the day, uh, coming to you from the Tactical Hive. All right, here's Bill from the Tactical Hive. Uh, bringing you a quick tip for the day. De-escalation, we talk a lot about it in our training classes. We really focus on awareness and avoidance. But what happens if someone approaches you aggressively and says, hey man, what are you looking at? And wants to start some crap with you. A really good quick tip for the day is give them a compliment. Hey man, that's a really cool hat. Hey, I like your tattoo. Where'd you get that? Uh, change the subject and redirect the attention on something positive. Those are cool shoes, where'd you get those? Uh, some kind of a compliment is probably the best way to buy in uh, and, and get that person to maybe de-escalate or calm down a little bit. Uh, worst thing you can do is say calm down. Uh, best thing you can do is some kind of compliment. That's your quick tip for the day. Hope you don't have to use it, but if you do, use it well. Hey, this is Bill coming to you from the Tactical Hive. Well, got your quick tip for the day. Uh, chamber check. The purpose of the chamber check is to verify the gun's loaded. Uh, anytime you're doing a chamber check, my recommendation is draw that gun out, check to see if your mag's in the gun, pull that slide back just a quarter inch just to verify the condition of the gun. There is a round in the chamber. Push the slide back all the way forward and you've done your chamber check. Important thing to remember is do the chamber check from the back side of the gun, the back of the slide, not the front where you might cover your hand or pinch your hand in the open chamber area. That's your quick tip for the day. Make sure you do your chamber check.